How's it going, dudes? Today, we'll be taking a look at the original V-Wing from 2006, and we're going to see by the end of the video if it's worth adding to your collection or not. Set 6205 V-Wing Fighter, coming in at 118 pieces with one minifigure. This set retailed for $9.99 back in 2006, which boggles my mind. Adjusting for inflation, this set would probably cost around 15-ish bucks, I think. And on the aftermarket, you could pick this up easily for around $20 just for the build and figure. Uh, if you want box instructions, you'll be paying anywhere from 30 to 50 depending on the condition, of course. We'll take a quick look at the instructions, and these are basic, just 2006 instructions. We have, we open up with the minifigure, a picture of their complete build, and on the back, we have, like, the win thing where you send in, like, a survey, but you, you never win. No one ever wins these. The front art of the box shows the V-Wing flying through space. I'm going to say this is probably the battle over Coruscant. We can kind of see a faint image of i'd say that looks like a venator to me which would have been really cool to see a place go venator in 2006 up top we have the lego logo and the star wars logo along with the ages uh, 6 to 12 set number blah 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 up top we have some more logos and some image of the figure in the set and then we have a actual size dimension uh minifigure reference here on the back of the box, we see some cool alternate builds, which I'd love to take a spin at, but these alternate builds like don't have instructions and they're super hard to find and try to put together on your own. We also have an image showing the builder that, you know, the wings move, so that's that's cool. And we also have a few images of the ARC-170, Anakin's Jedi Interceptor with Vulture Droid, and then we have the V-Wing. Here is our clone pilot minifigure using that OG Phase 2 clone helmet, which is not most, it's not accurate, but I definitely like the aesthetic. It's very nostalgic and it gets the job done. Out of all the 05, 06 era clones, I'd say this has some of the best helmet printing. We have some really nice sand blue markings. We have the uh, black markings on the side and up top. And I really, overall, I really like the aesthetic of this minifigure. We have some nice torso printing with some ventilation tubes and we do get back printing which is always appreciated with these older figures overall i really like this figure i know i know it's very inaccurate to what it's supposed to be and what it is supposed to look like in uh episode three but it's a toy from 2006 who cares and if you're looking to pick this figure up on the aftermarket you'll be paying anywhere from like seven to ten bucks just for the figure now for 2006 10 bucks this is an incredible value for a set you get a cool clone minifigure an awesome ship although it's very simple and very like easy to build it was still a fun building experience it uses some interesting build techniques especially for the wings but for the majority it's pretty simple i think lego did a great job uh utilizing the wedge plates at the time to get a nice sleek v-wing look now i'd like to demonstrate how to get your pilot into the cockpit you simply just remove the windscreen which is just connected on by four studs it, it's a little tough to get off get your pilot in a little sitting position pop in a squat set him down in there he is connected in all four studs push his feet down lay him back get him nice get him nice and comfortable don't lean him all the way back because that would interfere with the cockpit but you simply just put it over him just like that and he's done look at him he's he's gonna go uh, blow up some vulture droids and you know he's, pro he's probably not gonna make it home now i'm sure many of you have already noticed but there is a slight gap it's about a one plate gap within the build and the cockpit which is kind of annoying because if it would have been a simple easy fix of just adding another plate why they didn't do this i don't know but it was 2006 so who cares here's a side profile of the v-wing it honestly looks pretty good for 2006 now probably my biggest complaint with the set is the lack of the landing feature uh the v-wing uh in canon the engines or the wings uh, are supposed to rotate up and then sit down now you can get this effect because it is held on by technic pieces just you could do it like this but uh the wedge plates the red wedge plates uh sadly interfere uh and they're too they're too tall they, they, they come down too much take a look at the back we have the engines they're just two trans neon green radar dishes which gets the job done it would have been nice if there was a little bit more filling here to hide the white bricks to connect the engines but other than that it's, it's the back of a ship. I mean, for 10 bucks, you really can't complain. In the set, we have included a astromech head, which sits on the back of the V-Wing like so. Now, this is not the first time LEGO Star Wars has made a set with just an astromech head attached to the ship. Now, I'm sure for an extra 5 bucks, I'm sure people would have been fine paying for an astromech uh, with a body. And given the space right here, I'm sure if they redesigned it a little bit, they probably could have pulled it off. I really like the use of the ratchet wings, ratcheting them in to get a nice even uh symmetrical look and then we have the outer outer rings are just uh, attached via clip and bars now you don't want to mess with this v-wing because it is packing some heat we have two cannons on each side of the ship 
built completely up of Technic parts and two lightsaber rods in black. It's a pretty simple build, but it gets the job done. We have some nice tile work on the front of the ship, and that's about it for the ship. Now, at the beginning of the video, I asked the question, would this set be worth adding your, to your collection? And given its current price point on the Aftermart, being around $20 to $30 without a box of instructions, I'd say, yeah, it's much more affordable than the remake V-Wing, which I believe came out in, I think, 2014. Uh, that set's oddly hard to come by, but this one's fairly common. Given that its price point was $10 back in 2006, I'm sure every kid and their grandmother that likes Star Wars probably got this set given how cheap it was now it's not the most detailed ship but i feel like the details that it does have still hold up and can be easily modified to be you know be retrofitted and added to your modern star wars collection so with all that being said and after taking a good deep dive of this set i definitely say it's worth adding it to your collection i'd honestly prefer this set over some of the modern ones that we currently have on store shelf now it's a fun little quick build with some with a pretty cool clone pilot Although it's inaccurate, I still think it looks cool. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. And I hope this video helped you to make a decision. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more LEGO reviews such as this one. Take care. Have a great day. Peace.